watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Hey folks, if you missed a tour of my bug out moto van, click below to watch now or click on the link in the description section of this video. Hey guys, I'm on 34 West out here in Colorado. And I'm headed to De I'm headed to a ghost town called Deerfield, which was a black settlement back in the 1900s. It was about 700 African Americans settled there and they erected a town there. Hey guys, we're in Deerfield here. This is a ghost town here in Deerfield, Colorado. Of course, we got the mystery machine here. And we're going to go check out this uh, this ghost town. For your safety, please do not enter this building. It is private property of the Black American West Museum. Denver, Colorado presents physical and health risks from structural instability, hand to virus, and snakes. Holy shit. It's fucking dangerous to go in here, dude. Check this out, though. I got my bat. I don't want to get no fucking illnesses, though, man. Hantavirus and shit. Hantavirus. I ain't getting no fucking hantavirus, man. From fucking rats. I'll just put the camera in here and see if you guys can see in here. Got a fucking bullet hole, man. This was even a ghetto back in the day with fucking gunshots in the window. This must have been the hood, man. Back in the day. Fuck. Fucking gunshots and shit. Should have brought my uh my shotgun, man. This Supposedly uh there's three structures here. One was the founder's house, which I guess this is the founder's house possibly. Then there was a diner and some other structure. Let's see if you can see hantavirus. I can't get over that, dude. Get a fucking disease if you go in this bitch. Some bastard, of course, bust the window out, as usual. See if you can see in here. Look at that, man. Probably a lot of uh, rat droppings and shit down there. That's why they don't want you to go in there. Breathe that shit. I should have brought a mask. Hope I don't catch the fucking hantavirus, man. Shit. It's the last thing I need to get some fucking disease, man. Out here fucking around here in the tumbleweed in fucking Colorado, dude. See, we've got a wood shop here, man. Check that out. They probably did their woodworking in here. They tried to make a little community here. And the Great Depression just stopped them in their tracks. And the Dust Bowl, supposedly. Say they got snakes out here, too, man. Gotta watch for snakes. There's a, uh... Fuck is that, man? Yeah, it's got all these tall ass weeds. You gotta be careful. You probably fucking rattlesnakes and shit out here. You gotta listen for it. Got some cactus right here. I didn't know Colorado had cactus. That's that's tripped out. I'd be careful here, man. Look at that. Dude, first snake I see, I'm out. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking bugs, man. I've been attacked by flies, dude. There's another workshop here. Check that shit out. Top, man. Let's see what they got here. Fucking sink, man. Lizards. Broken glass. I love to go into that building, but I don't want to get the fucking hand to virus, man. <laughs> We can look from the outside though. Got some windows here. Hey, they had electricity. There's an electrical box here unless somebody added that. Check it out. 
I'll put my hand through here so you guys can see. I ain't going in that bitch, though. Hey, there's a hot water heater, man. 1900s. They didn't have no fucking hot water heater in the 1900s. Excuse my language, guys. You know, I'm bad with cussing. I gotta stop that shit. This is cool as what? They have some really cool ghost towns here in Colorado, I tell you guys. I've been to a bunch of them. I used to live out here for about, what, five, six years. Then I packed it up, went back to my home state of Ohio. But I always have an appreciation for Colorado and I always come back at least every five years or so. This is my, it's been six years since I've been back to Colorado. They got this fenced up. This was probably the diner. I'm not climbing that damn fence either. Fuck that. What the fuck is that, man? Fucking snake beat that bastard, man, with my baton. All right, I zap that bitch. Look at this. Yeah, motherfucker. Some snakes won't fuck with me. You gonna they gonna get zapped? Now eat that bitch for dinner. Wonder what's down there. This is private property, I guess. Probably the state of Colorado owns this property. You think they would put like a gate at the door or something or prevent, board it up so people can't go in there unless somebody... Man, weird, man. Let's go take a look here on the side. It's not fenced in over here. Be careful of fucking animals and shit. You hear little droppings. Hey, get the fuck back. Of course, my eye, some sweat would get my eye right now. I'm burning my fucking eye right now. I can't see. I only can see out of one eye in this bitch. Damn. Look at that. Oh, shit. Damn, boy. Goddamn spiders and shit in this fucker. It's a Scooby-Doo adventure here, man. Fuck. Looking for the bad guys. Hey, bad guys, come out. Come out, bad guys. I'm gonna fucking zap you with, club you in the head with my fucking baton. That's all we got here, guys. Let's see what's over here. Fuck is this? Damn, we hit the jackpot. Yeah, I ain't entering that bitch. That's some dangerous fucking, fucking roof all on my head. Check it out, old stove, man. Got a little basement or something down there. Probably brewing some whiskey down there. Cause you know that during the prohibition, they didn't allow alcohol. And you know people were making, you know, in the basement, making their moonshine. Making that money. That was, that was the crack back in the day during Prohibition. Moonshine. Let's see what's going on over here. I should have brought my dog, Scooby-Doo. I don't like all these weeds, man, where snakes fucking can hide. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck is that? Look at that. Little shoes and shit, man. The kids' shoes they left. Look at that. I wonder how old this stuff is. Wow. Left the bed spring. Damn, look how small that roof is, man. Shit. Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Crazy, I'm the only one out here in this bitch, man. Guess nobody gives a shit about a African-American ghost town, man. I have an appreciation for it. I think it's cool. Alright, we're done. 
This is cool as what, man? I know some of you guys are like, man, you're a pussy. You should go in that house. Fuck that, dude. I only get no illnesses. Fuck that. Last cold I had was a son of a bitch to get rid of. Last thing I needed is some fucking hantavirus and shit. Check this out. We got a stone here. Let's see what it says. Deerfield, Colorado. Uh, says here that Colorado entrepreneur and messenger for three governors, Oliver Toussaint Jackson, filed a desert claim to create the African American agricultural colony of Deerfield in May of 1910. And Dr. Westbrook of Denver proclaimed at an organizational meeting in 1909 that the fields, quote unquote, would be very dear to us, thus giving the community its name. The first settlers moved here in 1911. And by 1920, Deerfield had more than 200 residents, two churches, a school, and a restaurant, and plans to build a canning factory and college. By the time the residents and agricultural experts seriously noticed the diminishing rainfall, Eastern Well County was part of the Dust Bowl, and Deerfield never recovered. In 1946, Deerfield had a population of one. One dude stayed here in this, this ghost town hood here. That's crazy. And, uh... That's crazy. And uh, today, Deerfield remains a symbol of the Western pride and empowerment for many African Americans. That's beautiful. That's awesome, though. That's really cool, man. There's no way in hell I'd come out here and say, hey, let's start a community here. Fuck. This is a fucking wasteland out here. Ain't shit out here, man. Warning. Underground fiber optic cable. Shit, they got high tech. They got the top technology over in this bitch, man. I guess because of the communities in the back, so they had internet access. Out here in bumfuck Colorado, I love the country though guys, I have an appreciation for this. I'm not hating on it, I absolutely love country, I consider myself a country boy. So never mind my uh, fucking around talk, bullshit talk. But alright guys, let's get in the mystery machine and go to a new location out in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Right now we're in the plains of Colorado. It's time to head west into the mountains and I can pull out my WR250R and explore some ghost towns. Stay tuned to my channel if you haven't. Subscribe, subscribe today and hit uh, like, hit the thumbs up for more videos if you appreciate this video. I appreciate all you guys, thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you out there on the road. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click to Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.